In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 1 from experience 13. You're conducting a multinomial hypothesis test. Alpha is 0.05. For the claim that all five categories are equally likely to be selected, complete the table. First, we'll do this with a spreadsheet. Let's copy the table, right click, and paste so that the formatting is the destination formatting. Now we'll find the sum of the observed frequencies using the sum command. The sum of the expected frequencies should match this. If five categories are equally likely, then we would expect the expected frequencies to all be the same. So we take the total and divide by five so that all five are the same and add up to 92 and get 18.4. Copy that down. And you notice that if you copy this over, you get a total of 92 in either case. Now I make a third column in which we, in parentheses, take the observed minus the expected and square that and then divide by the expected. copy that down and then find the total or sum of that column. We can start putting in these numbers. The expected frequencies are all 18.4 and the test statistic is the number that we calculated down here. To three decimal places we have 8.652 the degrees of freedom is the number of categories minus one. Since we have five categories, the degrees of freedom is four. Right? The categories are A, B, C, D, and E, the number of rows in the table, not including the header row. To find the p-value, we'll need to use the uh, chi-squared distribution with Excel and with uh, OpenOffice, I believe it's C-H-I-D-I-S-T, chi-dist. And then the test statistic is your x value, and then degrees of freedom is 4. And that's your p value. To four decimal places, we have 0704. And the p value is greater than alpha, so we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. So there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. Okay, the claim is the uh, null hypothesis that all five categories are equally likely to be selected. That would be the observed or expected frequencies. And we uh, don't have evidence to reject that. So that would stand. All right, uh, using the graphing calculator, we would go to first uh, add up the numbers in the observed column. 25 plus 25 plus 16 plus 11 plus 15. To get the total and then divide by 5 or the number of categories in general to get the expected frequency. And then we'll go to stat, sorry, edit, and in uh, L2 we'll put those expected frequencies. In L1, we put the observed frequencies. And then we go to stat, tests, and down towards the bottom is the chi-squared goodness of fit, GOF test. Enter there. The observed is in L1, the expected is in L2, your degrees of freedom is 4, and just hit calculate. And you see the test statistic is the top line. 8.652. The p-value is the next line, 0.0704, degrees of freedom, and uh, that's all we needed.